you know, think about what could make this week a good week. And think about what kinds of habits you need to get good momentum from. And what kinds of things you can do today to build positive momentum to get you closer to where you want to be at the end of this week. What is going on? Happy Monday morning. I hope that everybody is doing well today. I'm doing pretty well. It is actually Saturday today for me as um, I uh, get into this weekend. I wanted to talk about um, something small that, uh, you know, it happened to me today and um, kind of the, the lesson that I learned from that. And also I wanted to talk about um, how that how how that relates to self development and mental health. But before I jump into that, what is going on, guys? How is everybody doing today? Happy Monday! Welcome to the Risen Fallen Podcast. It is Monday morning if you're listening to the podcast version of this at 5 a.m. when it drops, and happy Monday evening if you're watching this on YouTube when the video version drops. Obviously, uh, it's Monday or Thursday is when the videos drop at 5 o'clock in the morning for the audio version and 5 o'clock at night with the video version. So if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. If you listen to the podcast version of this, take 30 seconds and just go and leave a little five-star review. Write a little message. I read every single one of the reviews, all the comments, and they uh, they mean the world to me. And if you just feel like you want to reach out on Instagram, we can connect there. It is at Risen Fallen. You can go and check that out as well. I post clips from the podcast on there. I reply to messages there, and um, that's usually where a lot of the updates come from. So without further ado, let's jump into what it is I wanted to talk about today. Oh, I guess I should finish the intro off. Um, If you are brand new to this podcast, the Risen Fallen podcast, uh, what you can expect is open and authentic conversations about things like mental health and self-development and how to get your life moving in the right direction. Uh, If you're down for that message, you like that message, uh, you want to stick around, please do join the community, get linked up with us, and uh, send this type of content to a friend or a family member, somebody that that you think could benefit from hearing about this kind of stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much how we roll here. If you are not new to this podcast uh, and you're a returning listener, you're a returning viewer, um, I just wanted to say thank you from the very bottom of my heart for supporting this journey, supporting this movement, and supporting the idea of making yourself 1% better every single day and along the way lifting other people up as well. And So whether you're brand new to this or you're not, um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are the reason that I do what I do. So I'm going to take a sip of coffee here real quick. Um, wet the whistle, so to, sp- so to say. And uh, we're going to get into this quick little episode. I've got like 10 minutes and I'm just going to bust this out as fast as I possibly can. So um, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. You take a sip of whatever you got in front of you, coffee, water, protein, shake, amino acids, anything like that. If you don't have anything in front of you, uh, take a second. Let's breathe. Let's just get grounded and then we'll chat about how my morning went this morning and uh, what I really learned from that. So let's take a sip here and we're going to get rocking. Okay, so this morning, um, you know, the last couple of days, I've been kind of kicking it and just chilling a little bit more and... Um, it's kind of put a little monkey wrench in my routine. I, I do have a pretty solid routine, but that being said, uh, the last couple of days I've been kicking it a little bit too much and just kind of relaxing a little bit too much. I still, I guess, was um, working out and I was still training. I was still going to the gym and, and um, 
I, I followed my meal plan for the most part. So most of my routine, I uh, I did follow, but I, I just was kind of like staying a little, staying up a little bit too late, and I was kind of sleeping in a little bit too long uh, for the last like couple days, and it kind of threw me off my routine. You know, my morning time, I was waking up, I felt a little bit off. Uh, I slept in a little bit too late. Didn't have time to do. Uh, a couple of my things that I like to do in the morning, like reading and, and kind of uh, drinking a cup of coffee and journaling. So I had to do those a little bit later in the day. Um, and then it threw off my evening routine because I was um, staying up a little bit later and um, just kind of not, I wasn't really sticking to the plan that I had. And this morning, I, um, I stayed I stayed in bed a little bit longer than I normally typically do on a weekend and I just kind of felt off you know it's been about two three days now where I've been sleeping in a little bit longer and uh, staying up a little bit later and I just feel off and I don't know if you guys have you know it's such a it's seemingly such a small part of my routine that's thrown off and yet my whole personality feels off like I, I feel weird uh, it feels you know not the same. It doesn't feel the same as when I'm waking up and I'm sticking to my routine 100%. And uh, I feel kind of on point. I feel kind of um, like clear, concise minded. And, you know, I feel focused. And it's so weird how one little thing like that can throw your whole your whole like uh, brain off balance and off kilter. And obviously, um, you know, there's the scientific aspect of this, like uh, your circadian rhythm being thrown off, etc., and the timing of your hormones, etc. But realistically, I think the simple way to explain it is my momentum's a little bit off, and so I don't know. Like you guys, I don't know if you you uh, kind of relate to this or you kind of feel the same way. Maybe you feel like you've been drifting or coasting off of your routine recently whether it is like when you wake up, when you work out, if you work out, if you've been eating well, if you haven't been eating well. I don't know what what kinds of things you guys have going on in your life, but I feel like so many of us can relate to just kind of having one thing slip and then your whole life feels out of balance. And I think that there was two things that I kind of took away from that in... Um, this morning when I was reflecting on it, I went, so I woke up a little bit later and the first thing I did, I go, um, for a run and I listen to a good podcast. And when I get back from my run, I take a shower, I kind of get freshened up. I get all, uh, I get my laundry started. I get, you know, I get my cup of coffee and I sit down here and I'm like, okay, I feel like I'm getting some momentum back. You know, I, I, I've claimed a couple victories this morning of, uh, okay, I got up, I didn't get on my phone, I just went for a run first thing, you know, et cetera. I'm building the momentum. And so now I'm sitting here and I'm recording this, uh, this episode for you. And that's on my to-do list today as well. So it's... Um, So it's important to understand that, uh, you know, one of the one of the things that I noticed over the last couple of days when I was starting to examine uh, my life is that, you know, in the last few days, even though I was going off my routine in regards to my sleep patterns, my waking up early, my um, going to bed somewhat early as well, and uh, just one thing was thrown off from my life in my routine. But because I've built momentum in, in the other habits that I have and the behaviors that I have, those things did not stop. Those things, you know, they continued going, even though one thing was thrown off in the routine. And that, that really does speak to the power of building a habit, building like a, a repeated behavior that's uh, built into what you do on a daily basis. Uh, for me, obviously... Things like working out, getting to work on time, um, reading, journaling, stretching, making sure I take care of all the little things, the habits that I built up to make kind of what I consider a bulletproof routine, something that takes care of, 
you know, you have one thing that takes care of each area of life, whether it's uh, making sure that I'm sleeping properly, making sure that I'm eating properly, making sure that I'm working out, making sure that I'm reading and ingesting the right information, making sure I'm reflecting and journaling. And because I built my routine, my daily routine uh, around doing things that protect each different area that, that I think coincides with mental health and physical health, um, even though one thing slipped, the rest of the things continued going like it was on autopilot. And that is kind of the power of what momentum can do for you is that even when one thing starts to chip away at you, you still have the rest of your habits, the rest of your routine keeping you in a positive momentum so that when one thing starts to get hindered, the rest of the strengths come out and uh, continue pushing you forward. And the other thing is, when you feel like your momentum's a little bit off or you're kind of feeling stagnant, you're feeling like, okay, I'm waking up a little bit later, I feel lazy, I feel like I have no motivation, I feel like I have nothing going for me, you can look at where you need to have more discipline. You can look at where you need to build momentum in your life. And then you know a, a clear and concise vision of how to get better, how to continue doing something better uh, such that you can build momentum in your life and start the ball rolling in a positive direction instead of continuing doing whatever habit you feel like is holding you back. See, the thing is, momentum... It can work for you or it can work against you. And you have the choice, you have the power to decide with your actions today on this Monday morning, you, you have the power to decide what kind of momentum is gonna carry you through the rest of this week. Forget yesterday, forget the weekend, forget last week, forget last month, forget everything that you've done you know, wrong and don't let that impact you in a negative way, but reflect on it and think about you know, think about what could make this week a good week. And think about what kinds of habits you need to get good momentum from. And what kinds of things you can do today to build positive momentum to get you closer to where you want to be at the end of this week or the end of this month or the end of this year now that we're, you know, more than halfway through this year. Think about the momentum that you're going to need. Think about what kinds of directions you want your life to go and how you can set up your life, your habits and your routine to help you build positive momentum to get you closer towards that. I know it sounds kind of abstract and I know that it sounds kind of weird, but planning for these things like building momentum or, you know, it always seems so f like, um, it seems so ridiculous to think like, oh, I have to keep building momentum. I have to keep doing things. Otherwise, I'm not going to progress in my life the way that I want to. But we all know that life is going to throw curveballs. Life is going to send you things your way that are going to want you to start to make compromises that are going to be to your detriment. It's going to maybe send you a physical injury. Maybe it's going to send your loved one a physical injury or... Um, you know, knock on wood and hope that it doesn't, but, you know, maybe it gives you any type of reason to stray off the path that you're on right now. And, and you're going to not only hear that message and want to say no to it, you're going you're gonna to convince yourself and justify it to yourself and think it is okay to go off, off the, uh, the, the plan that I've made for myself, if you've even made yourself a plan. And so it's important to build momentum in your life so that when these curveballs get thrown our way and we convince ourselves or someone else convinces us to step off the path that we're on right now that is getting us closer and closer to the person that we want to become, you know, we're going to want to justify making these mistakes in our lives and, and, and thinking, okay, it's, it's okay for me to eat this thing. It's okay for me to do this. It's okay for me to sleep in a little bit longer. I need the rest. I need the recovery. I need to do this. It's okay for me to slack off at work and fix something else in my life, it's okay to make these compromises at the time. That's what you're going to be justifying to yourself. And it's okay, not that that's okay, but it's, it's okay if you've done that before because it's a lesson. And the lesson that we can draw from that is to build discipline in our lives and to build the momentum in our lives to be able to carry us through those times when our discipline wavers. 
so that we can still, um, the lows don't have to go as low. You know what I mean? The lows don't have to go as low. When you get off your path and you start dropping, you start slipping, you know, the, the more momentum you have behind you, the less it'll be able to slow you down. And that's simple physics. And so happy Monday. I think that's a good way to wrap this up. I got to get going. I know I said I only have 10 minutes. I went for 13 more. Um, so I will check in with you guys on Thursday. That's my short little episode for you today. Um, just wanted to share that little message with you guys. I know it was a little bit off off, uh, off the cuff. I didn't really uh, write any of my notes down or make any thoughts or bring any quotes. I just wanted to uh, share this little talk with you guys and uh, hope that it helps. Uh, maybe put something in a new perspective for you. So that's all I got for today. I will check in with you guys on Thursday. Uh, much love and peace out, you beautiful human beings. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,